Hey everyone. So it has been quite a while since I have updated. Um, there isn't like, I, I, there's good reason for it, I guess. Um, I just don't have the time. Um, and I don't have the, um, content really. Like, I just don't know what to update on except for Piper. So the last time that I updated was actually August and it is now February. So it's been almost exactly six months. And the last update I did was on um, my thyroid and weight. So I'm gonna make this about everything. And the first thing I'm gonna update on is Piper. Yeah. yeah? Here, come here. Yeah. So we're sitting in the bathroom. Piper <laughs> looks a little rough today. <laughs> Um, she, yeah, your hair is messy. Yeah. Yeah, and you've got a black eye, and, um, she's drooly. Oh, my goodness. It's a snow day. Um, I actually, we got a lot of snow here in Michigan, and, um, it's, um, like, my other daughter don't, is home, and I, um, she's outside playing in the snow with her friend. And I worked from home. I'm actually still working from home this very second, but nothing is going on. Um, she, <laughs> so this is Piper and we look a little rough. I'm obviously she's just wearing her old clothes and her hair is kind of wild, but I figured it wouldn't matter because she is funny, aren't you? Um, you know, I always think I'm going to update when it's like, oh, we look nice and we're, you know, I don't want to look like crap and I don't want her to look like crap. And I'm like, you know what? This is perfect timing. So Piper is, here, sit down, sit down. Piper is 19 months old and she is about 25 and a half pounds. She is my biggest child at this age. Um, yeah. And she doesn't say a whole lot that makes sense, but she does babble a lot. And she, she is starting to say a lot of words. Um. Hold on, I'm gonna I'm gonna do something. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back now. Um, so yeah, she is um 25 pounds, and I'm not sure how tall she is, but she's bigger than my other two were at this age. Um, she, as you know, as I have reported before about her, she is a fussy child. Um, she was a really fussy newborn. She is still very high maintenance, but um. She is getting better. Um, it it was rough go, and that's one of the reasons why I don't update. She takes a lot of um, my time when I am home, which is, you know, I work full time too. So um, she can say a lot of words. Um, she doesn't speak as much as like some people's kids at this age. Um, she does say like she's starting to do like animal noises. She can point out like her body parts. Um, she does say, um, you know, the typical things that kids say when they first start talking. Um, but she is doing good. And, um, she, yeah, like I said, she's, oh, she's in daycare two days a week. She likes that. She's a little more outgoing as you probably could tell by how she is. She's kind of goofy. Um, she loves to build with blocks and do puzzles and she likes to um play with baby dolls and she is a lot of fun um you know obviously we are still in a pandemic and it's been hard because it's snowy and crappy out so we can't do a lot um but you know it it is what it is so anyways that is piper and I will also show her again in a few minutes, but I'll go on to something else. So, so we, as far as my thyroid goes, I believe that in August I was on the same dose I am now. It is 10 milligrams. My thyroid levels, when I had them checked last, were stable still, but the TSH had actually gone down again a little bit, which is weird because usually... Like when I got diagnosed and put on the medication, it worked so quick. I went into remission like three months later and I was in remission through my whole pregnancy. Well, I don't know. You know what? I wasn't in remission in my pregnancy. I went into remission after, but
but my levels were stable with no medication from like October 2018 until sometime in early 2020. And, and I thought maybe it would be that easy again, but it hasn't been. So I'm not really sure what my levels are going to be doing next time I get them checked, which I believe is in the end of April. I'm supposed to stay at this dose, which is 10 milligrams until then. So I don't know. I'm hoping that maybe they would have swung a little bit hypo so she lowers my dose because I really, really just want to get off the medication again and try to get into remission. But I mean, as of right now, I'm feeling good, which is what really matters, I guess. Um, like, except I still have heart palpitations all the time, but as you know, I always have those even when my levels are stable. Um, so yeah, thyroid stuff is going okay. Um, it, you know, could be better, but could be worse. So let's see now weight. Oh, the weight has been an issue so much. Um, I had been doing Weight Watchers when I last talked to you guys and, um, it, it just didn't work. I didn't end up keeping up with it. Um, I talked to my endocrinologist about the issue that I have, which is I feel like nothing works and the weight drops off so slow. And, um, I basically have to eat like nothing but like vegetables and stuff to like lose weight along with working out as hard as I can. And I don't have time for that. And I don't want to just eat vegetables, like as stupid as it sounds like I just want to be able to like live a somewhat normal, like healthier lifestyle. Um, so she told me I needed to start weight training and I hadn't really done that but um, we did buy a kettlebell. So starting January, the beginning of January, and it's now February 18th, I have been working pretty hard. Every other day I do kettlebell workouts and every other day I run on the treadmill and I take like one to two days off a week depending on how tired I am. So um, I have lost a little bit of weight but the thing that sucks is that I had actually gained weight before that. So now I'm still at my largest and I'm so frustrated because it comes and goes and it goes up and down just like it always has. But I'm, I've got to stick with it because I know that a year from now, I'm just going to be like, why didn't I stick with that if I stop? And I can feel a difference. Now I've lost about six pounds. I can feel a difference in my muscles. Like the kettlebell there's a lot of cardio involved with it i can feel that my arms have more muscle um i can feel that my sides are um, less bulgy like they're getting slimmer i have more of a shape to my waist but it's a it's going to be a long way before i'm anywhere that i want to be so um i don't know but i'm gonna stick with it i have to stick with it i have to thank you can you say thank you no can I put the hat on the baby for you? Is that what you want? No. No? Here, let's put the baby's hat on. So, um, I have a uh, hat. Yes, there you go. There you go. So, yes, yeah, so I need to stick with the weight loss. I need, I think a lot of it has something to do with the thyroid too. Like, I'm afraid that it comes off so slow because my thyroid is maybe swinging hypo. I don't know, um, but whatever, it's, you know, I'm, I'm working on it. So um, they did, my primary physician, actually, I told her before any of this, I told her how hard it was for me to lose weight and how stubborn this weight is. And she gave me a prescription for a injectable drug. And I don't know how, like, I think it was called, it's Saxenda. Um, and I was going to use it. It's supposed to like slow your gastric emptying and like that makes you less hungry, which is a big problem for me is being hungry. And, um, I have, I've had the prescription. I bought, I got it. It's in my fridge. Um, and I've had it since November and I just can't bring myself to do it. Um, I want to do this on my own. Um, 
And also, there's some of the side effects with the sex and a drug is like thyroid thing related, and I'm just kind of uncomfortable. <gasps> Hyper. And and I haven't actually told my endocrinologist about it either. Here, look. There. It's all fixed. So I don't know how comfortable she would be with me taking something like that. And like I said, I just, there's a lot of people, I was in a support group for it online just to check it out. And a lot of people were saying how they had symptoms of like this and this and this. And I'm like, oh, I can't have nausea all day. I can't feel sick. I don't want to feel sick. So I don't eat. You know what I mean? Like I want, I want to, I just want to be able to lose weight without, I want to work the weight off myself. I just wish it wasn't so hard. But anyway, I'm going to I'm going to show you guys Piper again and and I'll let you see her for a minute and then I'm going to go and there really isn't much more to update with and please excuse the living room cuz she literally just throws toys everywhere and I don't pick them up till she goes to bed. So um so anyway, I will I will make a video when I make one next. I don't know. Um I'd like to say I'm going to update more often, but we will see. And so as far as that goes, I will show you Piper and then I will talk to you later. What are you doing? Is that your baby? Okay. Oh, don't get mad. Can you say hi? Piper, can you look at me? Ooh. Ah, cheese. No. Okay. No. Where do you want to you want me to show kitty? Kitty. No kitty kitty. So this Piper, like I said, her hair is a mess. Clothes are a mess. But take it or leave it. This is Piper. So she is something else. Oh, she kiss. That's nice. Okay. Leave the kitty alone. Yeah. Mwah. All right. So we will see you guys later. Say bye-bye.